everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4! And we are actually here at the new library in town! I have to say, even though there's a very limited number of lots in The Sims 4 neighborhoods, I love how easy it is to just swap out different businesses, different lots, and it just feels like the world is as open as you want to make it, in a sense, because you just plop the lots in and out, in and out. And so today, we have a brand new little library that I fell in love with on the gallery, not in the least because it has like a little zen garden. Look at that little zen garden and it kind of dips into the the, the uh, actual side of the library and it has this cute little desk, but it looked wonderful and I wanted to take Pine out on the town so hopefully he can meet even more teenagers now that I have radically expanded the number of teenagers in town and I wanted him to be able to bring his younger siblings and his cousin Aaliyah and in the end uh, we ended up having... <laughs> Only Aaliyah and Pine show up because guess what? These two naughty kidlets, Mr. Ash here, who's caring for himself as he should. Yeah, that's right. Care for yourself, you goose bucket. And then let's see, Holly should also be caring for herself. Let me see. Oh, I can have her tend the garden and socialize what and build a skill or bring her here. I didn't know I could do that just by clicking her like that. So I'm going to have her uh, build a skill creativity, you, you little silly goose bucket, because she totally, completely, like, skipped out on stuff. Let's see. And I had no idea I could, like, do all those little details. Socialize. I can make Iris socialize with people. Ah, I'm going to have her socialize with her friend Megan, because Megan walked by the house earlier this morning, and she was really sad. But anyway, long story short, Ash and Holly stayed up all night, and Pine and Aaliyah were good kids and went to bed on time. So they get to come and spend time here at the new library and playing together, and Pine needs some time to play. So we're going to let him kind of blow off some steam playing with the kidlet. The kidlet is very happy. She wants to do her homework, and so she's totally into it and ignore this suggestive conversation thing because that's really creepy because he's a teenager and she's a child that has been stuck in every conversation that any of my sims have for like the last day so i think the patch kind of um tweaked something so that it's just kind of stuck there for now so we're gonna ignore that and we're just gonna let pine and Aliyah have a wonderful day ala 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 i kind of like pronouncing her name ala better alaya Alaya. Alaya. No. Al Alla? See the name that's the problem with the Alla? Alya. 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 Oh, I love that so much better. Alya. We're gonna have Alya and Pine just kind of play together. In fact, we're going to have her uh play as a pirate. And then we're gonna have him come over here. And he's going to play with her over here. Oh, and look, he also wants to do his homework, which is good because he didn't finish his homework yesterday. And I was like, what? Oh, look, there's Ricky. So there's kind of one of his friends, uh, Ricky. But we're looking for more teenagers. More, I think Pine is more into uh, hanging out with the girls. So let's see. Let's wait. Oh, look at him. He has his good vibes because he's basking in the positive emotions of other sims. Come on, play a pirate with her. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, look, it's another child. Hello, Philip. He's a new kid. Like, I really added a bazillion kids. I de-aged elders back into adults, gave them families. The townies totally suddenly had a baby boom. Bye, Lily. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I just think Pine would be, like, the super awesome cousin and brother. Oh my gosh, Pine! He's so cute! Who would just really want to interact with the kids and spend a lot of time with them. And I totally am biased and want him to be in the medical career track when he gets older. So, the, with the, the new Go to Work expansion pack, that'll be so exciting! Alia! Oh, she's having a good time! Oh, I love her little face! Isn't she just the most precious thing? Oh, I'm so in love with her! I'm really having a hard time picking the two heirs, and don't worry, we will play all of the Sims, but I really want to pick, like, just two to keep in the main house. It's it's going to be tricky. We're approaching episode 100, so I think I need to make, a, make my mind up about who's going to be who. 
Oh, look how much happier he is. He's like, now I'm having a good time. Whoops. Alia. Oh. She's having a good time, too. All right, you guys. Let's go inside now that you've played for a little while. Oh, this woman is so sad. Why are you so sad, Miss Post Lady? Evangeline. She's, she's so sad. I'm sorry about that, Evangeline. But let's take a quick look at this little library. I don't remember what its name is right now. I'll try to recall. <gasps> Oh, who's this? It's Summer! See, Summer is all grown up and now she has a child, so I'm going to stop getting her confused <laughs> with teenagers. So Summer has grown up, she has a kid. Uh, that's one, that's an elder. Where's all my teenagers? I was hoping they would show up here. Oh, hey! There's a young adult, there's a child, there's an adult. Oh well, well, we can come in here and it looks like people are indeed like learning lessons and teaching the kids things. Oh, this is cute. There's a little bar. I love the water features scattered everywhere. There's toys for the kids left and right. <gasps> I wonder if she can come and play with this kid. Let's see if she can come and play with them. Uh, let's see. All right. Come here, sweetie. Aaliyah, can you come and play with Jack? Play dolls with Jack at this? Oh, look at the cute little... Oh, that's adorable. I love this kid area. All right, and let's have Pine come in here, and he can do his homework while he watches over his cousin. Is that a teenager? No, dang it. Pretty much just Ricky has shown up. There goes another kidlet. There's so many new kidlets. It's so exciting. Pine, we're trying to find you a girlfriend, because I'm pretty sure that's how he swings. Just getting the vibe from him. And I think he would be so happy to have someone to kind of... He's very loving. He's very good. Um, I just think he'd be really happy to have someone to kind of dote on. Well, at least all the kids are showing up. So there's that. Hey, Lance. Lance Cooper, new kidlet. Ooh, and the trees are really happy. Ooh, wild pear tree. We don't have any pears. Oh, my gosh. Pine can bring some pears home to his dad. Tate would be so happy. What does he do? Oh, he's reading his charisma book while he's watching over his little cousin. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Aaliyah is playing. This is what happens when you do your homework on time and you go to sleep on time, kids. You actually get a chance to come and do fun things and hang out. I love how Pine, he just does bask in the good emotions that other people have. So when they have good emotions, he's happy. Ah, it's so cute. Look at all the princesses. Oh, and there was a little knight. That's adorable. Oh, good. Aaliyah's having a good time. There's a whole bunch of adults here with, like, helping out kids. They're not even related. Maybe they're, like, tutors. That's amazing. Here comes another kidlet, Ella. So at least we can make a ton of friends here. Where were all you children when Pine needed you? Natasha... Oh, I love going out on the town. We don't do it enough because we have such a big family. It can be kind of hard to manage everyone's needs. Dang it. No teenagers. But he has reached level two of the charisma skill, which is pretty useful. Hey, don't lose that book here. And Natasha wants to talk to us. Oh my gosh. Rude introduction, Pine. What was that about? Show off outfit? Talk about studying. You're an odd duck. You know that. Now he wants to go cook something. Oh, you are such an odd duck sometimes. You be polite. Can we like apologize to her? Uh, discuss world peace and heartfelt compliment. And um, brighten day because that was really rude, Pine. All right, look at all these kids, man. Oh, and she looks like the perfect teacher, Lexi. So young adult Lexi. Where did Leah go? She's just standing in there. All right, let's have her come out and work on her homework. Whoops. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Do homework. So she'll find a spot to settle down and do her homework. That's better. See, you've got to be, you've got to be polite, Pine. Pleasant conversation. It's an unpleasant conversation. Oh, good. These are starting to like change. They're just like delayed. All right, that should be good. 
to apologize to her, and then we'll go over here and harvest up those pears. Dang it, I really wanted, at least there's pears for pine, but I really wanted to meet, like, another young adult. There's a lot of male women, like, walking by. Male, male delivery people. I've actually never really seen them wandering around before. Pine, where are the kids who are your age? There's, like, children who want to talk to you, but I'm not seeing any... There's Gavin Richards. He's an adult. <gasps> Wild potato plant! That's pretty cool. Oh, I thought there was, like, a giant... That's a giant leaf. I thought it was, like, a giant, um... Squirrel tail, for some reason. Wild lily flowers. Let's harvest those up. You can give them to your aunt. Man... Oh, he just acquired the gardening skill. His dad's going to be so proud. So proud. And he can eat a pear. At least you've got some pears, Pine. All right. Where's your cousin? What's she doing? Her homework. Where is she? Oh, there she is. It looks invisible. It looks like she's just scribbling on the table. That's kind of cute. Cool. All right. Teenagers? Grrr. I was really hoping there would be teenagers. Oh, and now she's all focused, and she wants to observe the skies with the telescope. Oh, she wants to get to know her cousin. That's so cute. All right, Pine. He's like, I want to grill something. No, just eat another pear. They're very yummy for you. Is that a teenager? It's a teen! Friendly introduction. Jose! Jose! Do we know you? Have we met? Any other teens? Or, nope, that's the elder. Man! That's okay, Pine. There's like a dozen new teenagers, and they're just off doing something else right now. But at least Jose is flirty. Well, Jose, not quite, not quite where we're, um, we're headed, but where is he? Jose is invisible! Jose? We're talking to him. Jose, you have amazing powers of invisibility. Is that a teenager? No, that's Alice Spencer Kim. She is an adult. We're just like talking to ourselves. Alice is like, huh. And just keeps going. Oh, man. What's going on over here? Why are you going to read charisma? Where are you? Aaliyah? Oh, jeez, Aaliyah. You scared me. I was like, where'd she go? Uh, Aaliyah, why don't you come over and just like draw shapes for a little while? We'll have you go home soon. Man! Come on, Pine! Drum up some friends! Maybe if we go to another area, they'll show up. There's a wild apple tree. Wild onion plant. I don't think we have onions. At least he's making a new friend in Jose. Oh, who are these people? Are you teenagers? It's Pierce. He's a teen. Pierce Lay. Are you a teenager? No. Man, I can't believe how desperate I am for teens to show up. But there's a lot of them. There should be a lot of, like, fun teens popping in here, and they're just not showing up. Max Exodus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about you guys? Adult? Adult? At least we made a new friend, I guess. Oh, dear. And how's Aaliyah doing? She's doing good. She's just playing. There's no other kids to play with now. A lesson learned. Who are you? Nope. Nope. It looks like all Pine got for today is a bunch of pears. And an invisible friend named Jose. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, Pine. You tried. You tried. There we go. Zoe's home. She did superb work but did not get promoted. Let's see. More adults walking around. We're gathering up some onions. There's an angry elder stomping past. Teenager? Nope. Young adult. Oh, somebody like did push-ups into invisibility. That was kind of amazing. Teenager? Nope. Camilla Lay. Looks like people are starting to come out to party over here. So it looks like I guess we need to go home now. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled just on people who walk by the house. But there you go, Pine. Got some pears for you. 
pears for pine at the very least. And he, he doesn't look like he's defeated. He's just kind of like, well, that didn't go as I thought, but, um, you know, he's just very cheerful. And Aaliyah looks like she had a good day. So we're actually going to let her finish her shapes and then we will put it in her inventory because she's almost all done with it. I feel like we need to make a craft room for the kids. Wouldn't it be cute to like have a craft, a little craft area? Like maybe that could be an open for business shop in the future. Like you sell craft supplies, but you also have like an area where kids can come and learn crafts and arts. It'd be really cool if you could teach other Sims like the creativity skill and by hosting art lessons. All right, so let's give her, there she goes. She has her little shapes and we're gonna send these two back home Wait, did a bunch of... Nope, that's Dawn. Dawn has a few kids running around now. Look at Janice. Janice is like, hmm. She's heard things about Dawn. She sure has. She sure has. And gracious. <laughs> well, Camilla Lay has some interesting outfits. But all right, I'm going to send these two home. And I will meet you guys there in just a second. And we're home. And little Aaliyah is just out here looking so happy. And I think she's giggling because you can see through the window... That Ash is celebrating the fact that the microscope is gone and he has a dancing room. I have never met a kid who likes to dance as much as this boy does. He is going to pass out. Or he was. Oh, oh great. I guess he slept all night and now he's totally ready. He wants to tease his mom, become energized, tell a joke. All right, Iris, where are you? Your son wants to hang out with you. She wants to finish a painting. Oh, and she wants to chat with Ash. So it's a perfect, perfect time. Come on in, Ash. Let's go over here. Oh, we have a happy girl, happy girl Zozo, who just wants to chat with somebody. So we'll have her go ahead, eat this fruit cobbler, hang out with the family. Is that a teenager? That's Tate. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so bummed out that we didn't find another teenager for Pine to hang out with. But no, no, it just wasn't meant to be. All right, Ash, you come in here and go ahead, inside joke with your mom. More choices, funny. Uh, joke about bananas, because he wants to joke and he wants to talk to his mom, and she wants to talk to him. So I think that this will work out as a really good conversational piece. Oh, look, Iris moves so she can sit across from him. That's so cute. Holly, are you just joining in the group? She sure is. Oh, because Holly also wants to be funny with... The, the twins just want to, like, joke with their mom tonight. That is so cute. Joke about chicken butts. Just joke about chicken butts. Oh, he wants to chat with his aunt. Tate, where are you going? He is just like all over the place. And there's Zozo. She wants to go have fun. So actually, Zoe, go into the depths of space. Because poor Pine. Oh, are these teenagers? I am like on high alert, frantically trying to find Pine a girlfriend. This might be harder than I thought. I made so many new teens, but they're just not showing up. And Pine's asleep right now anyway. Sorry, little buddy. I think that's so cute how Iris' kids want to spend some time with her. She's like, you should grow up to be a doctor, guys. And they're both looking at each other like, really? <laughs> I bet Holly is like, um, this guy? And Ash is like, this girl, she's a dork. That's so cute. I love when the family just interacts. Zoe's off into space so she can have some fun. I imagine fun fills up pretty darn fast. Tate, you're just in here dancing. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, because we are now back home. But we now have a new space room. I'm still working on figuring it out for Zoe and Lily. But this is the new space room. We're going to hang up some more space prints. I'll have to send some people out to get those. We have some beautiful paintings that have been done by Iris. This is actually a masterpiece painting, so it's kind of an honor that she gave it to them. The microscope has now been moved up here because it just seems more appropriate. I want to kind of see if I can sneak in um, maybe some shelving units along here and put even more items or maybe some of the slides. Wouldn't it be cool? Oh, who has slides in their inventory? Hey, y'all, Pine. Do you have slides in your inventory? Ah, he does. See? Can I drag this out? Does it have... It doesn't have a world. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to make him come up here and analyze them then. So maybe we can, like, kind of scatter a few of the pictures around in a few places. He really could run his own little shop to sell those signs with the new Open for Business coming out. Uh, we could put some fireflies in here. Why do we have 22? I mean, 22 fireflies? Oh my gosh, that counted as catching an insect. 
That feels kind of cheaty, though. It's like, boom. What? What? But, I mean, I guess that's okay, because we kind of, we did catch all these insects. Is this just, like, nothing but fireflies, for real? Is this, like, little, little twinkle flies? Little fireflies? Is this really just, like, fireflies? It really is just fireflies! Jeez. A populous toilet seat. What? Even in space, nature calls. Which it did. She went to space having to pee. Zoe docks with a starside rest station. It's pretty nasty in there. But then Zoe looks closely at the top of the toilet and discovered it's inhabited by a teensy alien civilization. Oh my gosh. It needs to, like, have its own country. I'm just gonna... I mean, Tate caught all these, but it feels kind of, like, cheaty. So you can do this, guys. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to. But at least Tate can, like keep going on that aspiration without having to go back to um on the retreat huh i don't know how i feel about that i'll give him a tent to sleep in <laughs> oh and speaking of sleeping as much fun as it is to bond with your kids iris one really needs fed and then bathed and i think ash like fights on the feeding and the bathing thing so let's make him get a little bit of cereal for dinner Actually, can he open this and get something healthier? Oh, look, there's scrambled eggs. Uh, eat scrambled eggs. Yeah. Go ahead, eat your scrambled eggs. And then Holly, you probably should be going to sleep too. Yeah, she should be going to sleep. Did she do her homework yet? I'm gonna make her do her homework. Zoe, the Supreme One. When the aliens see Zoe looming over them, they immediately fall to their knees and start chanting. They obviously think she's some sort of supreme being come to rule them. Should she stick around a while or just be on her way? No, let's stick around. We might be able to help them out. Can you do your homework while chatting, sweetie? Because that would be amazing. Your brother needs to eat. Oh, Iris seems so happy to be spending time with her twins. All right, let's see how Zoe's toilet civilization pans out before <laughs> before we go for the day. Let's see. Yay, and Tate is upstairs. The choice. The aliens are pushing some pebbles around and desperately trying to start a farm on a large pile of mold. So we can think of only two kinds of deities, the loving and benevolent kind and the angry and jealous kind. No, 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 no. Zoe is way too friendly. She would be loving and benevolent. We're probably going to spoil them, like, horribly. All right, Tate's up here studying away. What did you find, Tate? Ooh, the oops, gift of water. Alien, uh, let's see. Zoe studies aliens closely. They appear to want more water to grow their crops. The loving, benevolent thing would be to give it to them, right? Sprinkling some water might start like a flood. So let's try building an irrigation system. This is actually really cute. Yay, let's put that there. That looks great. There we go. Lily's home. Iris, your children are kind of like, just, where are you going, Iris? That is not your bed, Iris. <laughs> All right, it's bedtime. I'm saying that Iris is putting her kids to sleep now because she's like, children, it's bedtime. Well, actually, I guess I'm going to let Holly finish her homework. She's almost done. And I'm going to make Ash go upstairs. Infrastructure for the future. The aliens will never want for water again. Zoe is so benevolent. The aliens sing her praises. Now they're praying to her for more land for their fields and livestock. We should leave them to land because, well, maybe let them figure it out so they learn how to do things. Oh, but I feel like we should lead them to land because they're on the back of a toilet in a space station. So let's try leading them to land and hopefully that'll help. See, it says suggestive conversation every time, but that's not what it is. All right, Iris is going to bed. I love how she wants to be a programmer all of a sudden. And Lily, your spaceship is currently gone because your girlfriend is off uh, exploring space. Don't worry. She wants to use the observatory, so let's have her track it. The promised land. Praise to Zoe. She drags a table near the toilet so the alien colony can expand. Now that the aliens have all the land they need to grow and build, they seem to be doing okay. Zoe leaves on the high note. Oh, that makes me happy. Yay, we rescued the toilet civilization. And actually, I want you to stargaze so we can get more of the stargazing prints. Oh, she's sore from work. Sorry, sweetie. Okay, here, how about this? We'll let Lily come inside. Uh, and... Let's see, she can't really... 
Yay, Zoe's returned. Oh man, she didn't bring back any treasure. Let's let uh, Lily just play in Stargaze. Zoe, you're alive! Yay! Oh, and actually she wants to be friendly with Lily. So I'm going to let them interact. And actually the ladies, now that they um, will give Zoe an energy boost. But I think we're going to send the ladies off to the gym. And maybe they can meet a teenager <laughs> who they can then... Um, bring home to meet Pine. So no luck with teenagers this time. I'm gonna let these two say hello and good morning because this is technically their morning to each other. Talk about day. Just be super sweet. Reveal a uh, kiss cheek. You know all the sweet things because they just got home. And Holly, you're gonna go to bed now sweetie. And this mischievous kidlet, Ash. He is... Uh, 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 you have your own bathroom. He is always just where he shouldn't be. He's always kind of meandering off and not not in bed at the time he should be. <sighs> and he has a rotting plate. Ash, dread, dread it. You put you put this plate like I know you put this plate there. Oh my gosh! Here, I'm gonna put it downstairs and feed it to Microbite, our little trash can. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna make this kidlet go to bed <laughs> so we can actually get a good night's sleep but i will see you guys next time where we will take these two lovebirds to the gym hopefully they can meet some people and lily can get that eighth fitness skill because we're we're so close to getting there she doesn't work for three more days are you kidding me oh my gosh well we'll let them have a, a fun day out on the town night, I should say, out on the town, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!